The last stop on our railroad ride is New York Mills. At the end of a long day, one needs a welcoming place in front of a fire. Time to relax, imagine, and enjoy. To do that, we're going to visit the Whistle Stop. Bed and breakfast, that is. Jan and Roger Lee opened the Whistle Stop Inn in 1993. Just like the trains that keep rolling down the tracks past this beautiful little bed and breakfast, their business has been non-stop ever since. It started in this beautiful Victorian home. The house was built in 1903 by the Nyland family. They came from Finland to New York Mills and opened a Finnish language newspaper called the Osikutima, and I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but it was the third largest foreign language newspaper in the United States at that time. And they built this house. Well, Dad died early at a, at a young age, and Mom and the five kids built this house. Each room is furnished with lovely antiques and creatively decorated with, you guessed it, a railroad theme. Did I mention relaxing in front of a fire at the end of your day? First we started out with three rooms in the house. We had to add two bathrooms and we did use the existing one bathroom upstairs but we connected it to the guest room. the rooms in the house and we'll find five cabooses and that'll be great. We found one and we've never found another one. That's our oldest car. It was built in the late 1800s. We have the palace car. That's a big Pullman train car built in 1903. We have the imperial car and that's another big Pullman train car that was built in 1909. We just purchased our, our third large car, which will be our fourth train car, and it was built in 1907 and used for the forestry service. Then it became the trolley restaurant in Deerwood, and now it's going to be a bed and breakfast guest room. The Whistle Stop. Three guest rooms spacious grounds that feature a caboose and three antique railroad cars, and a quaint little cottage finished in a Santa Fe theme provide guests with plenty of options. It also features a Victorian tea room. Tea parties are by reservation only. Hats and gloves are admired but not required. Jan will supply the hats. A delightful setting for small group functions, luncheon meetings, and social events like birthday parties, baby and wedding showers. Each room throughout the house and railroad cars has been decorated with period antiques, fun railroad toys, and nostalgic memorabilia that add to the ambiance of the setting. And when a real train passes on the tracks nearby, the sound, and sometimes the vibrations, really add to the experience of your visit. Relax, imagine, enjoy. You know, so let's pretend we're on a train. The 1800s vintage cozy caboose features a whirlpool, tub, private bath, a queen-size Murphy bed, and a refrigerator not to mention the unique views from the cupola windows. The Viking is the newest in the Whistle Stop's VIP line and was being renovated when we came to film this segment. To get an idea of how it will soon look, let's take a peek at the other two cars. 
The Imperial was a Pullman built in the early 1900s and formerly served as a day coach on the Yellowstone Park line. The floral carpeting, mahogany paneling, and stained glass windows echo the elegance of earlier days. But unlike train passengers, you will enjoy modern luxuries, like a queen-size bed, freestanding fireplace, double whirlpool bath, refrigerator, microwave, and television. Another Pullman, the Palace Car, once served as a dining car. It has many of the same features as the Imperial. My wife and I were guests here during a January snowstorm, and we were quite warm and comfortable despite the sub-zero temperatures outside. During the hot summer months, each room is air-conditioned as well. The Whistle Stop is famous for big, delicious breakfasts. There's no dining car that's working, that is, on this railroad, but upon request, breakfast will be delivered to your coach. Menus can be tailored to your preferences. The Whistle Stop is a fun place for anyone to come and stay. But if you relish the nostalgia of America's bygone railroad days, you'll have to plan an overnight stop in New York Mills.